test, test. All right, Ted, let's do this. Welcome back. What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching Ted. I haven't seen this movie since probably 2013-ish, maybe 2014-ish. I've only watched it once. I remembered it being funny, but also I don't really remember it. So I decided to watch Ted. Someone suggested it to me and it was just, it stuck to my brain. I was like, that would, I feel like the channel would love if I watched Ted and therefore Ted. Speaking of Ted, I've been watching Ted Lasso. Fantastic TV show, y'all should watch that. Anyway, how many times did I say Ted there? A lot, I hope. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content. I post two to three times a week. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below and you should check out my new podcast. I launched a podcast with Billy Binges and Movies In Depth, two of my very good friends and we are, I don't know how many episodes in now, but we are still doing that, yeah. And we got so many more coming out. So you should totally go check that out, subscribe, watch through it all, and yeah. If you guys want to check out the full-length commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page. We can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. And thank you so much to this huge list of VIPs for supporting me and keeping the dream possible. You guys are awesome. Alrighty, y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Can I play? Get out of here, Bennett! Get lost! Yeah, Ben, and get lost. Hey, you're the one getting beat up. What? He's like, I'd rather lie here and get bullied than hang out with you, John. Ted! Oh, Merry Christmas, John. Oh, that's the lady from uh, the heart player from Gilmore Girls, season one. I wish you could really talk to me. We could be best friends forever and ever. Forever and ever? Thing is more powerful than a young boy's wish. Except an Apache helicopter. An Apache helicopter has machine guns and missiles. Unbelievably impressive complement of weaponry. S narrator, man. What's up with you? And ho helicopters with machine guns. Honestly, I respect it. I love a narrator being a little quirky sometimes. I for kind of forgot who voiced Ted. Who was the voice of Ted again? me ah! did you just talk you're the one who wished for it aren't you yay magic he's really alive look merry christmas everybody <laughs> jesus h hell i get my gun Dad, no gun thunder buddies for a life thunder buddies for life me and sarah would always watch thunderstorms when we were little because we like shared a room and we would like open up all the blinds and watch the lightning like strike the earth Seth, M Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane, duh. I knew it. I knew it was someone like big, like with the voice acting. <laughs> Former celeb caught with mushrooms. I'm dead. What the heck? Oh, Ted is slipping him off. Oh, Seth MacFarlane wrote this. This is great. And he directed it? I'm so dumb. How did I not know that he directed this? The fact that you have to say they're not that bad means that they are that bad. You ever, you ever hear a Boston girl have an orgasm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ha, da, oh. That's so funny. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Look, I don't know if I could drive. It's okay. I'll drive you. Yeah, I feel fine. Ted knows how to drive? How are you reaching the pedal, bro? Ah, that answered my question. You can barely see over the wheel. Get him a sheet cushion. Phone says I texted someone at 3.15 asking them to beat me up. And then uh, at 4.30 I texted the same person saying thanks. You don't remember it? No, same as last time. I don't know, but if it were me, I'd be expecting a proposal. Oh, come on. Nobody's expecting anybody to propose. What? Girl, who do you think you are just saying that he should propose? He put the ring in her ass. Let her fart it out. <laughs> what? Guy, please. Guy. Relax, guy. They said they got separated and one of them had his foot stuck under a rock for like five days. If your leg got trapped under a rock, I'd chew it off to get you free. You would? I sure would. It's just the most not romantic thing I've ever heard in my life. Ah! Oh! 35 years old and you're still scared of a little thunder. <laughs> Are they both scared of thunder? When, when you, you hear, hear the sound of thunder, thunder, don't you get too scared. Grab your thunder buddy and say these magic words. 
you thunder! You can suck my dick. You can't get me thunder because you're just God's farts. Just God's farts? F you thunder! I love that. What the heck? I want to start singing that song when it's thundering out. You should give him an ultimatum. It's you or the bear. No, I can't do that. That would devastate him. That's his best friend. What if he chose Ted? Because he is going to choose Ted because that's his best friend. I mean, come on. 100 bucks says he's showing her the diving team photo. Check this out. Oh, God. That's me on the high school diving team. You guys do not look like you're in high school in that photo. One. Two, I already see where this is going. She's going to be like, oh, you need to grow up. He's not going to propose. She's going to be like, I thought you were going to propose. Something like that, right? I already know. I mean, with my top of the pyramid Caucasian jeans and your dark, beautiful Baltic check. Goodbye, Rex. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so racist, but it's so funny. My top of the period Caucasian. <laughs> Just this up for me, I want to scare the shit out of somebody. What are you, like five years old? Yeah, but I read at a six-year-old level, so. <laughs> Sir? Come on, we love a guy that doesn't take himself too seriously. Wouldn't you rather that than the other way around? Oh my god! Oh my god, you whacked her! You remember that night after the club, we went and had late night eggs and waffles. So about 5 a.m., we watched a movie on the little TV in the diner. Name that movie. Octopussy. <gasps> Gold star! And by the way, my dancing was not that bad. It was pretty bad. You whacked her in the forehead, of course it's bad. And also, what movie was playing at the diner? Look, I'm, I'm only saying this because I love you. You're not gonna have any sort of career if you keep wasting time with Ted. You have to understand, I had no friends before he came along. But you're no longer eight. He's not your only friend anymore. That is very true. You know what? It's a good move that you started to have that conversation with him, though. The Star Wars ringtone. Is that my ringtone? Oh, yeah. What is it? Because it sounds negative. Oh, no, no, it's, it's from the notebook. It's from the notebook! Oh. Laurie, hey, you're home early. What the hell is this? The ladies and I were just watching Jack and Jill. Adam Sandler plays a guy and his sister, and it's, it's just awful. Wait, Jack and Jill commentary? This is Angelique, Heavenly, Shireen, and Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. There is a... A shit on my floor. There's a what? Yeah, we were playing Truth or Dare, and uh, Shireen's pretty ballsy. Oh my god! Shireen, please! Keep it classy! I'm coming to get whoever lives here! You owe me lobster money! Oh my god, she is so breaking up with you. and Giving you the ultimatum, John. I'd be pissed off, too. Oh my gosh. Ted, how do you even have money to afford those four? Or was it just your good looks <laughs> and your charisma? Ted with the Riz. <laughs> what about Thunder Buddies for life, John? I know. You guys are still Thunder Buddies. Just don't live with your 35-year-old owner? Friend? I look stupid. No, you don't. You look dapper. Oh, he's gonna go get a job? So you think you got what it takes? I'll tell you what I got. Your wife's on my breath. You're hired. You're hired! He got the job. Turns out he was just hard-ass enough to get the job. It's such a Boston thing. <laughs> yeah, I forget that Ted is, uh, like, famous. That's how he's getting all the ladies. I'm sorry to bother you, but, uh, I, my son and I couldn't help but admire your teddy bear. Oh my god, this is the guy from, uh, Friends! This is Phoebe's brother! Have you ever considered selling the bear? What? Excuse me? I want it. I want it. Totally see him just taking you down to the basement while singing some creepy Victorian nursery rhyme. I love my it off. <laughs> Stop it. Why you gotta take it to that place? Now it's real. Now it's real. Yeah, first night in my beautiful new apartment. Yeah, and the guy said it ain't hardly had no murders in it, so that's good. It ain't hardly got no murders in it? That sounds very convincing. I would totally live in a place where a guy says there ain't hardly got no murders in it. <laughs> Ted! Girl, there's no way this is working. Oh, oh. Okay, all right, so that's where we'll draw the line. Yeah, definitely draw the line. I actually went through something like this with my last boyfriend. We were together for eight months, and I really loved him. And then he got deported back to Iran, so. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we both lost our furry little guy. We sure did. Furry little guy. Ted. 
This movie! You know, this place looks great. Thanks, man. It's all, uh, Ikea. Did the whole place for $47. Did the whole place for $47. So relatable. Actually, I, I met a girl. She's a cashier. Oh, well, what's her name? White trash name. Guess. Mandy. Nope. Brittany? Nope. Tiffany? Nope. Candace? Nope. I, right, Brandy, Heather, Channing, Brianna, Amber, Sabrina, Melody, Dakota, Sierra, Casey, Dolly, Kendra, Kylie, Chloe, Devin, Emily, Luf Becky? Nope. Was it any one of those names with a Lynn after it? Yes. Brandy Lynn, Heather Lynn, Chan Tammy Lynn. <laughs> it's so good. There's supposed to be three registers open. Oh, Ted skipped out on work. Oh no, they're they're effing in the back room. <laughs> Stick your finger in the loop of my tag. <laughs> you had sexual intercourse on top of the produce that we sell to the public. I f***ed with a parsnip last week. I sold the parsnip to a family with four small children. No, Ted, please. What are you doing? I'm promoting you. Promoting? You got a lot of problems, don't you? You have many problems. And girl, what? With the teddy bear? Ari's a senior VP at a big, huge PR firm. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Senior VP and you have a cubicle? I'm always fascinated to meet Ted's girlfriends. What do you mean, girlfriends? Was it like a lot of them or something? Oh, are you, are you uh, jealous, Tammy Lynn? So I'm always interested in meeting the lady that can snatch him up. Did you just call me a whore? You just worry about your own snatch. How about that, honey? Well, you're a freaking snob. Okay, Whatever. take it easy. Nice, Laurie. It's not my fault she can't speak English. Oh, f you. Because you're on the business world and shit, you think what? Everybody should like suck your asshole or something? Oh. <laughs> what? Girl, you okay? Screaming at her for no reason. She just said, how'd you meet Ted? Or why are you with Ted? Or I forgot what the question was, but it was so innocent. John, I need a man, not a little boy with a teddy bear. Right here in front of you. All right, look at these pecs. Look at the hair on my upper lip. That's man hair. I just fought it. That was a man fight. <laughs> I love how at the end of their like conflict and their dialogue, they always have something like childish, childlike that they like banter about. That it's like she obviously loves the childlike aspects of him. He just needs to get his life together a little bit. There's time, there's like balance, right? But I love how it's like they're both super like childish together. She was like, Did you really just aren't ha? You know? You know, she told me how you are at the office. And as one gentleman to another, I just want to say, I really hope you get Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> nice. Oh, well. Yo, you're so straight up, John. Love that. Get your girl, protect your girl. Okay, so I'm having a little impromptu thing with some people at my apartment. Sam Jones is here. Sam Jones, Flash Gordon is here. Oh no. Ted's probably lying to him to try to get John over because he wants him to blow off Lori and Lori is going to break up with him. Ted, you're kind of being the worst. Stop telling him to blow off things and to make bad choices. Look, I'll be back in like 30 minutes tops, okay? Laurie cannot find out. She absolutely cannot know I was gone. Why would you trust Rex, the guy that you just told to get Lou Gehrig's disease? That girl's literally gonna be the best thing that's happened to you, bro. All on a hunch? Ted is definitely lying to you. Oh, Johnny, thank Christ you made it. Dude, I got 10 minutes. Where's Flash Gordon? <laughs> oh, so it was real? I thought he was gonna lie. The wind? I'm dead. Good to meet you. Thank you for saving every one of us. Let's do some shots. Oh my god. Yes, oh yes. my god, yes. Totally, yes. Oh no, this is not good. You know, you guys seem pretty cool. You like to party? Oh no. Come on, dudes. Don't tell me you've never done it before. Lori is gonna be so mad at you. At least Ted wasn't lying. I thought you were only gonna be 30 minutes, John. You definitely just blew her off completely. I do not sound that much like Beta Griffin. It's a good little treat for the Seth MacFarlane fans. Hey. Oh, it's Gay Guy. Hey, what's going on? Oh my God, it's Ryan Reynolds. Hey, Jerry, let's go grab uh, another one of these. Laurie, I... Laurie. I'm sorry, I messed up. Don't I need you out of the apartment tonight. I was gonna stop in for like five minutes and then flash Just Gordon. give me the car keys. Oh, this poor girl. Yo, you done messed up. You really messed up. You just handled the situation so poorly. Hey, Johnny, there you are. Man, I had to get some air. You know what, you. I don't even want to talk to you. You can't blame Ted either. It's so depressed. Okay, honestly, it's not like entire. Ted was being stupid. Like, there's got to be compromise. There's got to be balance. It's like, but it's also not entirely Ted's fault. Like, it's you, John. 
you're the problem. You are the asshole. I'm I'm team Ted and I'm team Lori. John, you got to figure this ish out with the both parties. Compromise is key. I'm sure either side wants you to be happy too. It's not like you guys aren't going to like hang out with one another. Bridget Jones! Look, the point is, you're blaming me for something that you did to yourself. You cannot take responsibility for anything that goes on in your life. You know I didn't tie you up and drag you to that party. Yo, Ted's kind of genius. He's talking some sense into John. But also, Ted, you, you did a lot of influencing him, so. <laughs> Yo, this teddy bear's kicking your ass, John. Come on. <laughs> Ooh. your ass whooped by a teddy bear. I'm so sorry, Johnny. Oh my, man. I love you. I love you too. You gotta let me help you make things right with you and Laurie. Come on. We're going to the hatch shell. Yeah, go get your girl back. I don't know what you think you're gonna do that'll work to get her back, but like, I'm rooting for you guys. <laughs> this is either gonna work out really well or horribly. Please tell me it's like the silliest song ever. The theme song from the movie Haunt the Pussy. Oh, I'm dead! This is gonna be great! Get it, Mark Wahlberg! Had no intention to do. Still better than Katy Perry. No. Katy Perry's amazing. You take that back. Everyone's gonna like laugh at him, but Lori's gonna love it. He's literally making a fool of himself for Lori. Where are you going? Taking a cab. I'm going home. Yeah, she told you she didn't want that freaking date. Finally. Finally. Uh, you should have just farted in front of her. She might she might have liked you more. You know, he, I, he knows he screwed up huge, but you got to believe me, it wasn't all his fault. I told him to bail on you that night at Rex's, and he said no. And I twisted his arm, Laurie. I promise I will leave, and I'll never come back. Aw, but she doesn't want you to leave either. I'll be gone when you get back. Forever. Wait, stop. Hi, Ted. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about these two. How did you find him here? Were you following him? Oh my gosh, and then Lori and- <gasps> I like it. He's gonna fix the whole thing with Lori, but then Lori's- He's- Ah! Oh, he won Lori back, but Lori's gonna win Ted back! I love that! All I want is- I just want to end on good terms. I want you to be happy. You deserve that. Thank you for being so honest. Aww. Get your man's back. That's the most grown-up thing he's ever done in his entire life. You love him and his goofiness. Come on. Come on, girl, please. Whoa. You're literally stalkers. As you can see, you've been a oh. part of our family for quite some time. You have another flannel underneath your flannel? I hate that. You belong to Robert now, okay? You do as he says. Do as he says? He's not a pet. He's a teddy bear. 35, 27, what however old he is, teddy bear. I have to give you an out. <laughs> oh my god, these are the kind of kids that turn into murderers. I'll hide. Well, now, hang on. Your dad likes you to show good manners, right, uh, Tubby McFett? Oh my gosh, Ted. But he ripped off your ears, so I get it. 11, 12, 13. Oh, the little Indiana Jones reference. <laughs> Children be <A's. laughs> It's great. Look at him dancing. The best thing I've seen in so long. I think we're alone. Yeah! Dance it up, dude! You're walking home alone, huh? Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. I mean, if I get raped, it'll be my fault for what I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It'll be my fault for what I'm wearing. They got me! That freaky guy from the park and that kid who I think is his son but may also be his lover, I don't know. Might also be his lover, I don't know. Columbus Heroin, get on the expressway. Oh yeah, you have that thing in the, in the wallet. Now let me out of here. I am a citizen of the United States of America. Oh my God, what are you doing to him? You're a citizen. 
How did that happen? Easy. Come on, Ted. Yes! Oh! <gasps> Honestly, that was kind of genius from the crazy scary guy. He's got dance moves and a brain. This movie is all over the place. I love it. I love this crazy stalker plot that's going on. Hide for your life. Are you at Fenway? No. <gasps> oh my god, this guy's gonna kill Ted. This guy's gonna rip apart Ted. No! You murderer! He's a citizen of the United States! You're going to jail, buddy! You're gonna be okay, buddy. You understand? You're gonna be fine. Don't ever lose her again. She's the most important. <coughs> She's your thunder buddy now. She's your thunder buddy now? Stop. That's so cute. Ted. No. And of course, he's going to start thundering right away. How dare you, movie? I'm so sorry. That literally scared the poop out of me. Why'd they make that so loud? Nothing stronger than a wish from a hot girl. Not even a little boy's wish. This is wonderful. I like this. Full circle. Ted saving Lori. Lori saving Ted. Yeah. Oh, yay, and his insides are all cleaned up now. You wished for my life back. No, no, no. I wished for my life back. Aww! That's such a good line. She wished for her life back. After last night, I don't ever want to lose anyone who matters to me ever again. I'm not going to wait any longer for my life this time. Will you marry me? All I ever wanted was you jump in it. Yay, happy family! Love that. Wholesome AF. This is the most unwholesome, wholesome movie I've ever seen in my life. Oh, you Ted, you're still with Tammy? Tammy Lynn? Sorry. I am so fake happy for her. I'm so fake happy for her. Oh! <laughs> oh Mila Kunis just looks good in everything. Rex was forced to give up his pursuit of Laurie. Yeah, Not long afterward, now. he fell into a deep depression and died of Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> that shouldn't make me laugh, but it made me laugh. Substantial amount of weight and went on to become Taylor Lautner. <laughs> it went on to become Taylor Lautner. <gasps> Roll credits. Was dead. That was so funny. I can't believe the movie just ended with the with the shot of Taylor Lautner and his abs. And that was like the peak of Taylor Lautner, 2012. Yeah. It surprises me how funny that movie is. You who would have thunk that a movie with a, a man and his teddy bear would just be like the funniest ish that you've watched. But also like quite wholesome. Like the girlfriend saving Ted, Ted saving the girlfriend. They're all finding compromise and harmony and like ugh and really embracing your inner child. Great, 10 out of 10, love that. If you guys want me to check out Ted 2, make sure to leave a like or a comment or something down below. I've never seen Ted 2, so that should be interesting. But also, I said that I watched this, but I must have like not fully finished it or like remembered absolutely nothing from this. That was so good. That was... Ugh. Some of the jokes didn't age very well, but like I love how it doesn't take itself too seriously and it's a little bit, you know, all over the place. It was good, I was entertained thoroughly. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content. And don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to check out the full-length commentary to this movie, make sure to check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movies slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all. Have the best day ever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye!